Now they have pledged to carry out the largest deportation, a mass deportation, in American history. Imagine what that would look like and what that would be. I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. Yeah! <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, uh, check this out. I was not the first one, but I was damn near close. All right. See that black MAGA? Go out there and vote early. All right. Get it done. Get it out the way. All right. Now I got that out the way. Let's talk. We're in the middle of October and I'm waiting for the October surprise. And sure enough, we got one coming up. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Miss Kamala is going to sit down with Fox News. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> Let's talk about the news, which is that uh, the vice president is going to sit down on Fox News. This was just announced by Fox News. It's going to happen on Wednesday. She's going to sit down with Brett Baer. According to Fox, it's her first formal sit down interview on that network ever. Right. She did not do it when she was running for president in 2019, uh, briefly on the Democratic side or as a sitting vice president is significant. It's going to be in uh, Pennsylvania. It shows one thing that she is uh, willing to take more risks mm -hmm. because they believe that uh, this is a, uh, a deadlocked race on the margin and she needs to do something mm -hmm. to try and shake this up. <laughs> She's going to have a sit down with Brett Baer. Man, oh man, I can't wait to see this. Um, Brett, if you're listening, I want you to ask her one question right off the back. All right. Kamala, Ms. Vice President, when did Dougie stop beating his ex-wife? <laughs> I can't wait to see this. You know she's desperate. You know that Kamala is desperate, that she finally made a decision to get on Fox News to do a sit down. Yeah. I was actually surprised that she's never done a Fox interview. You know what it was amazing to me about this is, you know, she turned down the Fox News debate. You know, they offered a debate and she didn't want to do it. And now with three weeks to go, we're scrambling over to Fox News because this campaign is in a full blown panic. I do want to say a word about Brett Baer. Everybody seems to be crapping on him today. Brett Baer's one of the best journalists out there. He's going to ask her good questions. And if the 60 Minutes interview or The View or anything else she's done lately was hard for her, Brett Baer's going to put her through her paces. And so this is a dangerous thing because he's a real journalist who's going to ask real questions. And you know that she don't have an original thought in her brain. The other day, Mr. Trump hinted that he's going to go on a Joe Rogan program. You're doing a lot of podcasts recently. One that I would love to see you on is, I think, Joe Rogan has to have you on. Yeah. Yeah. Would Would you do that? Oh, sure I would. I think Joe, like, besides I, us, Joe's- I mean, I think I'm doing it, actually. Yeah? Yeah. So oh, you are going to do Joe Rogan? Yeah, I am. Joe Rogan's the best in the game, for sure. And I think, yeah. you know- Did Joe having... become so well-known because of the UFC? And he, he does a great job with that, right? He's an honest guy, too, right? He is. So I think- Good guy. Good guy. And I think you guys together would just And he's be... got a good voice. That's important. Yeah. yeah. And, of course- Kamala having a problem with young men voting for her. So now she is begging Joe Rogan to put her on the program. <laughs> That's going to be an epic meltdown. That's going to be the biggest fail out there. If Kamala could sit down with Joe Rogan for three hours, unedited, no teleprompter on a podcast, Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. That's going to be the biggest October surprise out there. So I was raised as a middle-class kid. I grew up a middle-class kid. I grew up a middle-class kid. I double dare you. I double dare you, Kamala, to go on a Joe Rogan program. Now, I personally don't believe that she's going to do it because she's going to put a parameters of questions that Joe Rogan can ask. You know, like about her brother-in-law. So this is the guy. He's there's allegations that he embezzled over a billion dollars, and this is of taxpayer funds. Can't ask about that. Can't ask about her daddy. She gonna make some list that questions 
that's going to be the third rail that Joe Rogan can ask. So, and I don't believe that Joe Rogan's go for that. If she do anything like that, put any proposal of certain questions that you can ask, I don't think Joe Rogan's going to put her on a program. But Trump, we know Trump. We know Trump already. And he's not scared. He'll go on there for three, four hours. He did it with Elon Musk. He'll talk. He'll talk your head off. And it's going to be good for Joe Rogan, even though Joe Rogan said in 2022 that he'll never put Mr. Trump on. By the way, I'm not a Trump supporter in any way, shape, or form. I've had the opportunity to have him on my show more than once. I've said no every time. I don't want to help him. I'm not interested in helping the, him. The, the, the night is still young. We'll see. If I have him on, the night yeah. is still young? Yeah. You think I'll well, have him on? I think you'll have him on. Really? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because you'll have Putin on? <laughs> <laughs> and now, he sees the light. You know? But Kamala, Kamala is too late. It's too late for you. You should have done this in the summertime when, when nobody was paying attention. You should have went on Fox News a couple of times while nobody was paying attention. And now... You want to do these interviews while everybody's paying attention. We know that you're a hot mess. What kind of gun do you own and when and why did you get it? I have a Glock and um, I've had it for quite some time. And um, I mean, look, Bill, my background is in law enforcement. And um, so there you go. Have you uh, ever fired it? Yes. <laughs> of course I have. <laughs> At a shooting range. Yes, of course I have. Now, I don't understand her game plan. For the last four or five months, you've been talking about abortion rights and trans rights and women empowerment and all this stuff. Now, now you want straight white men to come vote for you. These straight white men that you keep calling racist, misogynist, patriarchs. Now you want them to vote for you. Why you want us to vote for you? Why you want any man to vote for you? question more to you and the daddy gang but mm -hmm. one of the biggest conversations in this year's election revolves around a woman's body mm -hmm. yep i want to take a moment mm -hmm. and can we try mm -hmm. to think of any law that gives the government the power to make a decision i know what you're gonna ask <laughs> about a man's body Let's no pause. no is there no, any law? No. No. Why do you want any straight man to vote for you? And I see the other day that you're trying to bribe black men to come vote for you. You want to give black men $20,000 to start a website if they vote for you, right? Finally, Kamala Harris sent us a love letter. That, to you, that might have been a policy document. I read that as a love letter from Kamala Harris to black men who need some love, black men who need some respect, black men who need some concern and con some care and consideration. You know, we, we need some mamala <laughs> from Kamala. And we got that. We stood on business. We said we wanted to hear something. Everybody else is getting something. What are we going to get? And she came with a, a love letter of support for our work our wealth and our health. Now, Kamala, you think we stupid. You try to give black men $20,000 to start a website. Yeah. But the people in North Carolina, you want to give them $750 loan? We saw this already. We saw that PPP program was a bust. But you'll give us $20,000 to start a website, and then we're going to go out there and flip the money and then you'll come after us? Nah, nah, nah. We saw that play already. No, thank you. Don't give us those special treatments. Make it even across the board for everybody. But you try to bribe us. You try to bribe for our votes. It's too late. You should have said this six months ago. Now, all of a sudden, the last three weeks, now you're coming up with these programs for black men? Nah, 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 nah. We ain't that dumb. We're not that dumb. Anyway, Kamala's going on Fox News, and she might go on the Joe Rogan program. I could smell the desperation way over here, Kamala. No, thank you. Anyway, 
Guys, that's what I got for you. Hit that like button and don't forget to get out there and vote. Vote early.